quick video on how to change the bit on the Shapoko without uh, removing the Dremel from the machine just while it's in place. Um, you can spin the collar by hand here. Uh, yeah, yeah, bit, collar. Uh, and then here's this button here is to lock the collar so you can actually loosen, you know, loosen it or tighten it. So um, I'm, I'm using the crescent wrench uh, and you can just tighten the crescent wrench down onto the, the neck. It's got, you know, flat sides and round sides. You can tighten it around the flat sides and then spin it freely, but then when you press down on this button, uh, it doesn't go in right away. There's a certain point in the rotation it has to be until it clicks in, and then you can loosen it. And then you can loosen it with your finger while still holding the red button, so. Okay, and then you can pull that one out. Oh, this is a good thing to keep in mind. Um, some bits are shorter than others, so you might need to raise the machine up um, and you can do that by hand or in the code, but if I or in the program. But if you're not connected to the computer, um, don't be afraid to just spin this with your thumb, and it can raise up pretty easily. So raise that up out of the way, and now we can fit our longer bit in. So just push it up, and then we can tighten it by hand for a little bit, but then uh, you want to tighten it with a wrench to make sure it's really in there. And there you go. Test it. Make sure it looks like it's spinning straight. That's a good sign. So uh, that's all there is to it.